find anything? Not in this fog. Sir, driftwood could easily be mistaken for a sea monster. Perhaps that is what the captain saw. But this driftwood apparently circled the ferry on three separate days. Keep looking. Unless it comes right up to the boat and knocks, I don't think... Would someone care to answer that? Ice? But it's not even winter. Over there. Iceberg! Oh! Certain, son? Kinda look like a person. Excellent aim, sir. Though I am puzzled as to what was gained by throwing away your comm unit. If someone is stranded on that hunk of glacier, Danny and Blades can track the signal right to them. Speaking of close, how about we fly at a higher altitude? Higher? Alert the media. Well, it's a known fact that sea monsters like to pull low-flying helicopters right out of the air. Did you just make that up? It could happen. Iceberg, dead ahead. Here's Dad's comm link. Well, if anyone was here, they're gone now. What's that? Hmm. Blades, the de-icing foam. Question? If no one is here, why are we? Uh, where's your spirit of adventure, Blades? I keep it back at the firehouse. It's some sort of control panel. Cody didn't really just push that. Ah! Oh. Blades, are you okay? Say something! No more pushing random buttons. Sorry. What kind of iceberg is this? It's not an iceberg. It's a ship covered in ice. Let's look around. Excuse me, but exploring ghost ships requires the whole rescue team. And the Navy. And I'd give Optimus a call too. Huh, here's the ship's log. It says we're on the SS Isolde. Cody. Call this into Dad. I'll search for any passengers. The Isolde? And it doesn't look like anyone's been inside here for years. Probably because that freighter was lost in 1966. You know something about it, Dad? The Isolde was used to transport experimental tech to Griffin Rock. 
So what happened? The captain and crew had to abandon ship after certain cargo became unstable. It says here the captain was Zachary Burns. <gasps> Great Grandpa? Yep. He never talked about it. But whatever happened on board really spooked him. So finish the search and hightail it off of there. Is this your great-grandfather, Cody? I'm not sure. I've never seen a picture of him. But if it is, I bet my dad would love to have this. He and his grandpa were really close. <laughs> hey, guys. Didn't find anyone on board, but want to bet that's what's causing the deep freeze? Because someone left the power switch on? You'll be all right. Uh, no more pushing random toggle switches either. Can you fly? Try and stop me. Cody, let's move it. According to Doc Green, lab records from 1966 show most of the Isolde's cargo was top secret. Except for this. The Sub-Zero Expander. Ah, ah. Divert your eyes, Blades. Think warm thoughts. It says here it was intended to restore melting polar caps by generating fresh ice. <laughs> Too bad their Sub-Zero doohickey was a foul ball. Thing's obviously a hazard. We can't just leave something like that drifting around where people might run into it again. I, I say, say we, we blow, blow it up. up. Huh? Figures it would take explosives to make you two agree. But we can't destroy Great Grandpa's ship. And not recovering that old tech would be a missed opportunity. As much as saving the Isolde would mean to me, I'm with the bomb squad on this one. We leave in five. We're going back out there? Some of us. Sorry, son. You've had enough thrills and chills for one day. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue! Captain's Log, May 25th, 1966. Rough seas. First mate reports a crate is broken open. As a result, the device inside has activated, awaiting instructions from the Griffin Rock Lab. Power up and energize! Minutes, team. Then boom goes the dynamite. <gasps> Wait, something's moving in the water. And I think it's alive. See, monster. Whatever it is, it's gonna get caught in the blast. We have barely two minutes. Blades. It might be prudent to move everyone behind us, sir. Wait! That's no shark!
Chief Burns, you and your ham-fisted robots are trespassing. Dr. Morocco! That's two mysteries solved. The sea monster and the iceberg man. You have a lot of nerve showing up here, Morocco. There's still a warrant out for your arrest. Pish posh. The mayor and I patched things up as soon as I returned his missing schooner. What did you mean by we're trespassing? Finders keepers. <laughs> like that'll hold up at court. Unfortunately, it will. Naval salvage laws say that whoever finds an abandoned ship gets to claim it and its cargo. Signed by your mayor this very morning. The SS is sold a, and everything on board belongs to yours truly. I'm calling the mayor now, Dad. Dr. Morocco, some of that cargo is really unstable. Seriously, do you not see the ice? Such concern does warm the heart. That said, I demand that you cease interfering with my salvage operation. Dad, the mayor confirmed it. The Isolde belongs to Dr. Morocco. All right, team. We've done all we can here. Unbelievable. Log entry. We've received instructions from the Griffin Rock Lab to abandon ship. Dad, listen to Captain Burns' final log entry. Any attempt to move the damaged Sub Zero expander will likely cause it to explode <gasps> and flash freeze everything within five miles. That's why Great Grandpa never went back for it. Morocco putting only himself in danger is one thing. Cody, check for any other craft in the area. <laughs> Change course. Attention all passengers. passengers. Please, Please take shelter in your cars immediately. immediately. And welcome to Griffin Rock. I've grown wary of this debate. Your grandfather's ship is now mine. The expander is going ballistic. Firebot, assist Dr. Morocco into his submarine. As commanded. <laughs> I'll have you up on charges, do you hear? That man is not humankind's greatest example. I don't think we're gonna make it out of range in time. Vehicle modes, now! Chase, I am fine, sir, except for the parts which are immobile. Kate, Danny, Graham, do you read? Come on, he wave, open up! Can't. Frozen. Solid. 
I, I th think I can move us. No, don't. We moved. Try opening your canopy. Still stuck. Wait. No. Still stuck. Dad, are you all right? Anybody? Cody, you are a sight for cold optics. Just give it a second to work, Chase. Me next. Kate's overstayed his welcome. Nice work, Cody. Oh, you're a lifesaver. I'd have busted out of there sooner or later. Did the town get hit? It's only icy up to the shoreline. Looks like you got the worst of it right here. Danny? Check the Sub-Zero Expander while we help Dr. Morocco. That machine has frozen its last bot. When I'm warmer, I'll jump for joy. Now look who abandoned ship. Well, that means he's all right. So what now? Drive home or wait for the ice to melt? Hmm, doesn't look very thick. Probably already melting, at least at the outer edges. Melting? But I saw four cars from the ferry driving across the ice back to town. Can you get there in time? We're on it. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue. from the ice field. Everyone, get to the boat. safe now. Drive carefully, avoid ice. Was that? Yes. 
Dr. Morocco actually came to our rescue. I'm sure he thinks that makes up for everything else he's done. Still, I never would have guessed that man had a grateful bone in his body. A grateful bone? Where exactly on a human is that located? Probably next to the funny bone we've heard about. The fairy's back, but no sign of the Isolde. Do you think Morocco took her? Well, chances are. Let's just hope any tech he got away with is too old to be useful. What is it, son? The portrait that was hanging in the Isolde's cargo hold. Grandpa Zachary. I haven't looked into that face for a long, long time. Hmm, maybe there's hope for Dr. Morocco yet. Oh my, just what the doctor ordered. I can't believe Bumblebee's coming back to Griffin Rock. This time, everything's gonna be perfect for my BFF. BFF? Bot friend forever. Oh, is there room on the banner for that? Ugh, I think Welcome Bumblebee, Hero of the Galaxy, is plenty. Blades, Optimus Prime's transmission indicated that Bumblebee will not arrive for another three days. Way too soon. I haven't even learned to play an instrument for the welcome song yet. Did it ever occur to you that Bumblebee might be coming here for something important? Visiting me is important? Yeah. I wouldn't break out the balloons and party hats just yet. Here's the helium for the balloons, Blades. <laughs> oh. Cody, can you mail this for me? It has to go out today, and I kind of got my hands full here. Sure, sis. You spelled welcome wrong. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> you better run. Oh, nice kicks, Frankie. They're Dad's newest invention, ski sneakers, water ski shoes. We're just going to test them. Want to come? Absolutely. As exciting as party planning is, it's times like this I'm glad I can turn into a boat. The science of my ski sneakers is simple. The soles take in surface water, then blast it out behind, creating propulsion. You will, in essence, be sea skating. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! This is so noble! But that isn't... what it's called? That and saving our lives. For which we are grateful. I'm afraid my lab wasn't as lucky. Where'd that wave come from, Doc? The possible causes of oceanic volatility are myriad. I'll be able to do more comprehensive research once I get my equipment repaired. Uh, Frankie, I may need to borrow your blow dryer. B-Day 
is finally here. And things are bumble beautiful. So, first I do a welcome speech, then the song, next the surprise. Remember, Cody, don't pull the rope until I yell, now. Now, got it. Then we start on my list of things for B to see and do. B is Bumblebee. Remember, the more fun we make his visit, the longer he'll stay. Oh, boy. I have prepared some poetry in honor of Bumblebee's arrival. <clears throat> code 7, Code 7, so unlike a Code 11, regulations for the populace allow no calamity to topple us. I would continue, but I require a rhyme for protocol. This is my contribution. I call it Bumblebee and Optimus. Well, I think I can fit you two in after hiking and scrapbooking. <sighs> Everyone needs to amp down. Bumblebee's only visiting because Optimus sent him. Warrior Scouts don't get vacation time. He's here! He's here! He's here! <laughs> And now, a few words of welcome. It is with great honor that we... What do you mean there's no time to visit? I planned our week. Oh, you're here on a mission. What are the chances? Greetings, rescue bots. My team has detected a newly activated Cybertronian artifact on or near Griffin Rock. I am searching the surrounding ocean. Please assist Bumblebee in scouting the island. If you find the relic, alert me. Only the power of a prime can turn off this technology. An assignment from Optimus himself is truly an honor. Happy to help, Bumblebee. Let's go tell Chief about our new mission. But we can't leave now. <laughs> <laughs> Fossil hunting for an ancient alien artifact? Noble! Yeah, so what do we get if we win this scavenger hunt? It's not a game, Cade. Cybertronian technology is extremely fragile and dangerous. Ooh, well then you guys should have kept better track of it, huh? Keep better track of you. B says his sensor will beep when the artifact's close by. Okay, then let's start searching. Not so fast, Danny. I just got a call from the mainland that your helicopter license expired. What? No way! I sent in my renewal three days ago. Cody mailed it for me. I was gonna, but then Frankie showed up and we tested Doc's prototype and the wave hit us. And I forgot. Sorry, I'll do your chores for a week. <sighs> it's okay, Cody. It was my responsibility. But if you want to clean my room... I'll send your paperwork in. Until it's processed, you aren't allowed to fly blades. But Bumblebee needs our help. Besides, I'm the one who does all the flying, so can't she just... No. If someone saw Danny at your controls, her license could be gone for good. Rules are rules. Specifically, our safety rule 46306, subsection 7. But Danny can still drive, right? Maybe she could ride with B. Why would I mind sharing my partner with you? It'll be my two best friends riding together. I'm fine. I don't know what you said, but you are one sweet ride, Bumblebee. Powerful, fast, and smooth. Oh, uh, excuse me, Bumblebee. See that field ahead? Yeah, one time, Danny and I rescued a cow that got trapped in a barbed wire fence there. Oh, oh, and on the left is Courtney Bluff. Once. Plates, can we cut the chatter and focus on the mission? <sighs> yeah. Let's take that fire road and search the deep forest team. Oh, yeah, don't worry about me. I'll, I'll catch up. Eventually. It seems like we've covered every inch of this island. Well, Optimus only said the relic might be on the island. Perhaps he has already located the artifact somewhere offshore. We should probably head home to the firehouse and compare notes. <laughs> hey, finally! Oh, oh, Bumblebee, once we're back, we can watch my favorite movie. It's about these two friends who travel around together and have wacky adventures. Hey, guys, I just got a call from Captain Shaw. A right whale is swimming close to the ferry. 
really close. Take care of it, Cody. Hold up, team. This is an air and sea rescue. Heat wave head for the ocean. Blades and I will meet you there. But what are Bumblebee and Danny gonna do? They'll wait back at home with Boulder and Chase. Land-based vehicles aren't much help on the water. So much for showing off my new rescue moves. So, Bumblebee. How about I give you a tour of the firehouse's upgrades since your last visit? Oh, but I wanted to do that. Blades, stop eavesdropping on the comm channel. I didn't know whales swam so close to shore. Well, they don't, usually. That's what's weird. Cody, can you see if Doc's Ocean Lab picked up any data on the whale swimming patterns? Sure thing, Graham. All right, nice and easy, everyone. No shoving. The whale's not a man-eater. I think. Down a little. Left. And... Bingo! Done! Now we can get back to hanging out with Bumblebee. First, we need to tow this ferry into dry dock for repairs. Will that take a long time? Depends how fast we get started. First the rogue wave, now the right whale going the wrong way. My instincts tell me there must be a connection, but my instruments show what is referred to among scientists as bubkis. Cody, have any other emergency calls come in about weird ocean stuff? Funky algae blooms, crazy riptides? Nope. Well, last week my dad said that Madeline Pinch asked for a permit to do some underwater drilling, but the mayor gave her a big thumbs down. And well, he should. It's far too dangerous to use mining equipment so near our island. Since when has the Pinch family ever taken no for an answer? We'll let your father know if we discover anything, Cody. Come, my little prawn. We're off to the sea lab to fish for answers. <laughs> was definitely not on our schedule of activities. Woohoo! Yeah. Way to go, Danny. You set a new training course speed record. <laughs> nice job, partner. Partner? But enjoy it while you can, sis. Me and Heatwave are about to crush your time. How about you, Chase? You want to take a crack at that record? As we determined the Cybertronian artifact is not on the island, I believe I have a new mission. Lots of luck beating B and D, the dynamic duo. What? But I'm your original B. That rhymes with me, and it stands for Blades. You're not upset, are you, Blades? This is a driving course. I, I didn't think you'd mind if I teamed up with B. <laughs> mind? Why would I mind? I don't mind. Oh, hey, I have an idea. You can be our pit crew. What does that mean? You sit on the sidelines, and you just... No, no, no. I think I've had enough of that for one day, thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a buddy movie to watch. B and Danny are supposed to be my best friends, not each other's. Now they don't even need me. But I do. Ah! <gasps> Optimus Prime, sir. How much of that did you hear? Enough. Where are Bumblebee and your fellow rescue bots? At the training course. Um, I can show you how to get. That is not necessary. You are the only bot I require. You? Want to hang out with me? The fate of this island depends upon it. I won't let you down, sir. Whoa, Optimus!
Optimus! I didn't know you were here. Should I get my dad? That will not be necessary, Cody. Blades can provide the assistance I need. Please inform Chief that we are on a mission. He said we! <laughs> Me and Optimus! Where are we? Ready for our mission, sir. Sir, I must admit, legally permitted unfettered speed is rather enjoyable. Give it all you got, Chase. We can catch Bumblebee on this straightaway. I believe this is what humans call hanging in there. Grab on! I'll pull you out! I apologize, Chief. Boulder assured me our racetrack was built to code. We'll investigate that later. Assuming there is a later. Fishing does have a practical use. Please do not throw us back. We're not sure. Graham, any idea what caused the sinkhole? Yes, but it doesn't make much sense. The ground's soggy, super saturated with seawater. Not what you want to hear when you live on an island. We'd better call Doc. Um, Optimus, what is our mission exactly? Retrieval of the Cybertronian artifact. Some form of Earth technology has activated the relic. The relic turns everything in its path to liquid. Rock, organic matter, metal. If we do not shut it down soon, this entire island will become water. But then everyone on it would... Yes, that is why I need you to fly to the relic quickly and help me retrieve it from the ocean. Wait until I tell Danny and B. So... Where to, sir? I'm not entirely certain. The water's depth is interfering with my detection device. Sorry to interrupt, but I think I know someone in the neighborhood who can help. So we're looking for a liquidator. <laughs> I think you mean liquefier. That would explain the message we got from Chief about a sinkhole. Triangulating the firehouse chasm with the rogue wave and the lost whale, I may be able to pinpoint the artifact. Cody. Please inform Optimus I will forward the data as soon as possible. Sooner than possible would be better, Doc. Dad, Griffin Rock's in deep trouble, and it's getting deeper. <sighs> Geysers, flooding, and sinkholes, right? The mayor just called. Forward us the 411 and the 911s, Cody. We'll split up and take each emergency as it arises. Rescue bots? and honorary rescue bots. Roll to the rescue. Late. the signal source should be three degrees southeast of your current location. Thanks, Chuck. We're on our way. I am grateful that you were willing to temporarily leave your team to assist me. Optimus, helping you is, I mean, you're bigger than Elvis. I have not met this Elvis and I'm unaware of his size. But have you no concern that your partner will feel left out of this mission? No, Danny can't fly right now. But she wouldn't mind anyway, because what we're doing is for everyone. Indeed, for a team to reach its full potential, there is no room for jealousy among peers. Okay, this isn't about Danny anymore, is it? I believe we have reached our destination. This mechanism likely activated the Cybertronian relic. Lower me. Cody, are you seeing this? That's Madeline Pinch's drilling platform. But the mayor told her she couldn't use it. Oh, someone's gonna be in trouble. Yeah, the whole island. Please be advised that all lanes are temporarily carpools. Boom. 
Problem solved. Not even close. Guys, terra firma is getting less firm by the minute. Tell me about it. Drive to high and dry ground. You'll be okay. Liquefying artifact no longer operational. Your island should regain its former solidity by tomorrow. That's too long to wait, guys. They call it quicksand for a reason. Try to stay still, Daddy. We're on our way. Blades? I'm flying as fast as I can. I am slowing you down. Good luck. Thank you, Optimus. Oh. I wish Bumblebee knew how to do an air rescue. make great partners. Thanks for being there for Danny when I couldn't, Bumblebee. Ah, from your reaction, I'm guessing you didn't actually say beep, bloop, beep, huh? He said that's what it means to be on a team. We're all partners. When did you learn Bumblebee? I didn't. I just know it's the truth. Are sunlit ice crystals cause for celebration? They are when they mean school's canceled. This is the perfect opportunity to catch up on your homework. A snow day's more like a surprise vacation, Boulder. Everyone just stays home and plays in the snow, because it's not really safe to travel. Emergency team, a rocket skier is stranded on Mount Griffin. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue! Wait, am I the only one who heard, not really safe to travel? Or am I just the only one who cares? We shouldn't even be flying in a snowstorm. I'm losing feeling in my rotors. Relax, Blades. I'm keeping close watch on your instruments. My instruments are down here. I have a visual on the skier, Dad. He's... Ah! <gasps> oh, it looks like the skier's unconscious, Dad. We'll need help getting him onto our winch. Copy that, Danny. Heatwave, guess it's time to play in the snow. We've done this a hundred times. Not on a snow day! Uh, Cade, what did you eat for breakfast? Avalanche! A routine patrol with four bats and stasis. You stayed on a poke in the strangest of places. Earth was their home, now and in addition. Optimus Prime gave them this Learn from the human, serve and protect. Live in their world, earn their respect. Family of heroes will be your allies. To others remain robots in disguise. Roll to the rescue. A hero! 
What exactly were you so afraid of? Snow? Do you know what weather like that does to a helicopter? Everything can go wrong! And likely will, according to the law of the human named Murphy. Blades may have been frightened, but he still accomplished the mission. Isn't that what matters most? If Blades scares so easily, he doesn't belong on a rescue team. It's okay to feel fear, Heatwave. That's what courage is, being scared, but doing the heroic thing anyway. And I think you've all been courageous today. The storm has shut down most of Griffin Rock. Folks are inside, staying safe. Why don't you enjoy a little downtime? Rest up. Noble! You get a snow day too! Doubles! Sorry, Heatwave. Go back five spaces. What? I earned those spaces. Duh. Breaker, Breaker, this is Long Arm of the Law. Any reports of criminal activity at the harbor? Nothing since you asked 30 seconds ago, Long Arm. Over and out. Uh, Cody, um, Graham said he might need my help with the project. Guess it's just you and me, Blades. Go fish? Oh, what about those video games you're going to teach me to play? I've already beaten them all. Except... The Hall of Inspiration has a new virtual reality game on display. Doc was gonna let Frankie and me try it out today, but he's stuck on the mainland because of the storm. I'm sure he won't mind if you and I play. That room is a game? No, Blades, it's a VR chamber. We go inside to operate the game controls. Come on. <laughs> Does VR stand for very restrictive? Virtual reality. We'll be totally immersed in the game. It'll look and feel real to us, even though it's not. We're in Griffin Rock, but what happened to the snow? And the sky? And us? I'm so shiny. And short. <laughs> this is your avatar. You in the game world. Our actual selves are still in the VR rooms. But this all seems so believable. <laughs> Wait, why can't I transform? Because in the game, you're not you, you, you're virtual you. Oh. Our avatars have special skills. See? <laughs> They're like us, but even cooler. Ah! Welcome to Griffin Rock Element Quest 1.0. I am Cat, Character Assist Technology. I am here to provide you with guidance. The goal of this game is to find and capture a flag at each of three levels. Water, Fire, and Earth. When you obtain all three flags, you win. To end play at any time, simply say, game over. Begin. Element quest level one, water. Oh, dolphins, how cute. <laughs> Not dolphins. Don't worry, Blades. Nothing can really hurt us here. Watch. You lose. Restart. So if something bad happens in the game, we get a do-over? How did you do that? We earned invincibility. Games can give you temporary powers if you find special objects. Like that one. Grab it! Yes! I earned the power of... Blow drying? Blow drying! <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> Where are all these barrels coming from? There, the boss of the level. The squid is guarding the flag. We need to find his weakness. There. Water level successful. Continue play? Yes, please. You bet. Ready, Blades? Element quest level two. Fire. Lightning, too. I can't remember a storm this bad. Thunder snow. The bot should see this. Cody, are you still in the bunker? Uh, he's with Blades, Dad. They're playing some game at the Hall of Inspiration. Cody! me or was that fire kind of hot not just game hot actually really hot and it actually really really hurts ah! I thought you said nothing in this game could actually hurt us it's not supposed to Something must be wrong with the program. Ah! We quit! Game over! And we are! I'm sorry, Cody. I am afraid I can't do that. But we don't want to play anymore! Override failure 0357. Reality mode locked. Goodbye. The VR tech's malfunctioning. This isn't virtual anymore. It's real! You mean we're stuck in here? Forever? With that? The only way out for sure is to finish the game. We have to win. Ah! <gasps> Dragons seem a lot friendlier on public television. <laughs> <laughs> Blades. To get to the flag, we'll have to jump. And get barbecued? Uh-uh! There's no way I'm moving up this high! Hurry! If we don't jump now, we'll fall off. I did it! Yes! <laughs> Take that! Virtual reality! Uh, Blades, we have to keep going. <sighs> Blades? Looks like the lightning shorted out some of this tech. Chief, I have found evidence that Cody and Blades were here. They probably still are. Inside Doc's new VR game. Come on out, son. I want you two home before this storm gets any worse. I guess they can't hear us. There's gotta be some way to open these... Sir, if I may. Chase! Apparently, I may not. Maybe Doc can help us. There's no reception in this storm. Team, we need backup. What do you know about video games? Awesome! We made it. Now what? I'm not sure. The game doesn't just tell you what you need to win. Figuring it out is the fun part. I was wondering when the fun would start. Uh, ah! <sighs> Let me go, Blades. No! If you fall, I fall! It's okay. Look, invincibility. 
Please don't miss. Ah! Ah! Fire level complete. <sighs> I'm sorry, Dad. Looks like these VR chambers can't be opened manually while the game is in play. So we turn it off? No! That's neural net technology. Sorry, left my geek dictionary at home. The room circuitry is linked directly into Cody and Blade's minds. If we shut off the VR tech, we might shut off their brains. You mean Cody and Blades could be trapped in the game forever? Is there nothing you can do, Graham? <sighs> no, the, the only way for the rooms to open and for Cody and Blades to return safely is for the game to terminate by itself. They have to beat it. Cody knows how to play these things, but Blades is probably too scared to move. If only we could offer assistance. Maybe you can. I, I might be able to patch someone into the system. I'll go. Blades is my responsibility. They both are. I'll need a little time to put together a controller. <laughs> the snow must be piling up on the electrical lines outside. If those lines snap... The hall loses all power. What would that do to the game? It's the same as turning it off. Then we make sure the power stays on. Graham, let me know as soon as you're ready for me. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue! Element quest level three. Earth. Come on, Blades. This way. Finally, a little peace. No monsters, no jumping, no... What in the all spark? Ow! I used to like video games. Then I took an arrow to the knee. Got it. The trees are all booby trapped. We need something to protect ourselves. Would a giant plate help? That's not a plate, it's a shield. <laughs> Come on, Blades. <laughs> One more flag to go, and we beat the game. As soon as we clear these lines, we can... Look out! Boulder, we're losing power in the hall. No, Cody. Something's wrong. I can hardly move. System error. System error. All your big base are belong to us. M -m -m malfunction. We're losing Cody and Blades. I need that power back up now. Kate, out. Yeah. Nice going, Heat Wave. Yeah! You might not want to touch him for a few minutes. Heat Wave, I'm ready to patch you in. It's not very pretty, but it should connect you to the game. <sighs> I'm ready to play. <sighs> there! The last flag! Wait! Blades! Whoa! Whoa. Ah. Ah. It's probably... Ah. A trap. He 
Wave. What are you doing here? I... I thought you needed help. Nope. Blades has been amazing. Good to see you, Heat Wave. But aren't you afraid you'll be stuck in this game with us? Uh, afraid? I'm here to win this thing and get us all out. Ugh. This program simulates pain, too? Good times. Congratulations, players. The elemental quest is complete. A winner is you. Game over. Cody! Are you okay? Oh, I am now. Virtual reality is even more dangerous than real reality. So then, the monster attacks. Claws as big as your head. But Blades here charges right at it. Doesn't even bat an optic. Weren't you afraid? Afraid? No. I was terrified! But Cody needed me. Is that not the definition of courage? If Blades is scared half as often as he says he is, he might well be the bravest of us all. There is still one thing I fail to comprehend. How is it that humans find a snow day enjoyable? You'll understand once we go sledding down Breakneck Slope. I'd rather fight another Does tree. Does that require a permit? I am not going out snow, there again. thank you. 